That picture, man. That picture. That match. That fight. Especially the end of that fight. That picture's been in my phone since the match. And all because of the love and respect that they showed to each other right after. And even days and weeks after, they showed nothing but love and respect for one another. Stood up for one another after people dogged the both of them for different reasons. Granted, you know, they they dogged each other and hyped up the match all the way up to September 29th. But as soon as the match was over, they hugged each other. And look at that embrace. That's a real embrace. That is real love. That's real respect. And these are two content creators that I've been watching for years. And, you know, Fousey, I've watched multiple channels of his. You know, Dose of Fousey, Fousey 2, um, Fousey, Cat's Family. You know, and he's inspired the transparency that I show in my videos. He's inspired, you know, and motivated motivated me in mo multiple ways. Slim, the man does what he does. He, you know, he d doesn't, you know, give in to the judgment of others. You know, he doesn't chase clout. He doesn't chase views. He just does his thing, stays in his lane, stays away from, you know, social media drama. And, you know, and it's too, you know, these are just a few reasons why I, I watch and follow both of these men. Right? And again, the love and respect that they showed to each other, especially after the match, when people were dogging Fousey for not defending himself and still dogging Slim for being slim, <laughs> for being thin, for, you know, not looking like, still not believing that he can fight. You know, regardless of the outcome of the match, and mind you, both of these men trained for two months. They weren't boxers at before this. They didn't box before this. But for, you know, for what they were able to do in two months, you know, they both deserve nothing but respect. And um, before I say anything else, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me, April Love, here in Boston. Wishing you a blessed time. Truly hope you're finding reasons to smile, laugh, enjoy life. Appreciate everything and everyone around you. Sorry if the quality is not that good. I'm at work. I wasn't able to get this video done earlier today, but I wanted to get it out tonight. Um, so I'm doing with what I got. So, again, won't say too much more about this because I want to get into the real reason of this video. So, again, Slim and Fousey had their match. Slim won. Fousey won in his own way. They showed nothing but love and respect for each other. And still, you know, a lot of people showed them the, the love and respect that they deserved. But a lot of people, especially con 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 some of the content creators, were still dogging them. Both of them for one reason or another. You know, but the one that bothered me the most is um, Alex Wasabi who's another big YouTuber and also a friend of Fousey's, that <sighs> this is another person that I've watched for years because he does his own thing. He doesn't get caught up in YouTube, you know, uh, social media drama. He's not one to really call people out. He's not, you know, he does his thing, stays in his lane, tries to make people laugh, spreads love, spreads positivity. He's inspired me, again, in so many ways. That's why I watch him. And that's why it was disappointing to see him call out Slim to a sparring match. It's one thing that he just called him out for a sparring match, but the, you know, to dog him like other people were dogging him saying that he can't fight, that, you know, it's easy to hit, hit someone that's not, you know, it's easy to want to fight with someone that's not defending themselves, 
what you know, whatever the case. But between the two of them, between Slim and Alex, they've both made at least two videos about each other. And I agree with Slim in the sense that it's one thing that you two are already cool with each other and say, you know what, let's let me avenge, let me avenge Fuzzy and let's have a you know a fun sparring match. And if you were already cool like that, I would I I would agree. I would be like, okay, cool. That you know, that's for fun. But the fact that you called them out. Still said that he couldn't fight. Said you could, you can beat him, and whether you can or can't, you know. And then through the the, the through the tweets and the DMs that you both have been posting of each other, you know, seeing how you're you're dogging him and not wanting to have a, a real match, you know. That, that's you know that that's disappointing to people that believe that you're better than that. You're better than the drama and not following through on what what you say you want to do. And you know why not do it for charity? I believe Alex is a good person. I believe he has a good heart. I believe that you know you know you know he would do something like this. For the maybe he wouldn't. Maybe there's a lot I don't know because I don't go into the details of every, you know, everybody. I watch what I watch, and if it motivates me, if it makes me laugh, if it inspires me, then you know I'm I gravitate towards it. If you're playing, if you're a completely different person outside of that, you know, and I find out, then you know I start pulling it away. And when you start showing that more. I start pulling away. Not that it matters. I'm just another viewer. I'm just, you know, whoever. But it does break my heart that, again, someone that I've invested time, love, and energy on. I mean, hell, you want to talk about people going after clout? You know, you know how many videos I've had where I've put people, you know, content creators' names in it? And it was all out of love. And respect too. I have those love lift tracks with for Alex, Fuzzy, Adam, Slim, Gary Vaynerchuk, Ellen, <laughs> Superwoman, Lily Singh. And only one of them has gotten over a hundred views in it's a video that I made last year. So for me at least, clout trying to do something for clout doesn't work. So but you know my whole point with this video is, and I highly doubt that Alex will even see it, but Alex, if you really want to have a fight with Slim, if you want to really do it, do it right. Have a real boxing match. Set it up for a couple months from now. Both of you get your respectful training on, you know, to train right, to do it right, and do it for charity. You know, and at the end, at the end of it, you know, wholeheartedly to show love and respect for one another, because you know, it isn't easy to get it to do things like that. You know, get into a, one a sport you've never done. Two, to you know, really put your your body and your face, <laughs> you know, on the line like that. You know. Anyway, that's kind of all I really have to say. I am, you know, disappointed with Alex and the way he's going about this. Um, but I hope it, this either gets squashed and it goes away or, you know, they legitimately set up a real match with each other. You know, because as much as I don't like seeing people that I mutually have love and respect for showing negativity to it towards each other, you know, if they do it for charity and they come out of it with love and respect, you know, you know, that would that would put a smile on my face. You know, and yeah, because again, I'm about the love and positivity. Anyway, I'm going to end this. Thank you for watching. Like, love, share, and inspire. Don't forget, love is everything. Much love.